So Bonamgani, welcome back to Zulu Lessons with Tando, the place for modern conversational Zulu language lessons. Ngani, this video is just going to be simply the singular and the plural family members. And then the next one after this will be the possessives for those family members. So if we are saying my mother, my family, my dad, my son. So these are really vocabulary for you to memorize, but also to help you to see the connection between the two. That, oh, a noun that starts with um, the possessive will then be wami. And oh, a noun that starts with um, the plural is aba. So let's begin with the list of family members that corresponds exactly or directly with the list of family members possessives that we'll do next. Umdeni, umdeni, umdeni. That's a family, one family. Imindeni, imindeni, imindeni. Those are families, plural. Now we'll start with the eldest family member. Great grandpa and great grandma. So those in Isizulu have no gender. It's simply ukoko for both great grandmother and great grandfather. Ukoko, ukoko, ukoko. And the plural is okoko, okoko, okoko. A grandmother is ukoko, ukoko, ukoko. And the plural is okoko, okoko, okoko. A grandfather, umkulu, umkulu, umkulu. The plural is omkulu, omkulu, omkulu. Take note that both ugogo and umkulu are class 1A nouns. The next one is ubaba, ubaba, ubaba. That's a father. Plural, o oh, baba, o oh, baba, o oh, baba. Fathers. A mother, o oh, mama, o oh, mama, o oh, mama. The plural is o oh, mama, o oh, mama, o oh, mama. So mothers, both o oh, baba and o oh, mama are. Class 1A nouns. A son, indotana, indotana, indotana. Plural, amadotana, amadotana, amadotana. That's sons, plural. Now take note of this. Indotana. Starts with an I-N. It's a class five noun. However, its plural is found in class three. Amadotan. It's not the only noun that does this. Look at this very next one. Indotagazi. 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 That's a daughter. Plural. Amadotagazi. Amadotagazi, amadotagazi. Those are daughters. Do you see that? The singular is found in class five, but the plural is in class three. There are a few nouns that do that in Isuzu. The next one is brother. Brother. Umfowetu. Umfowetu. You will also hear brother 
being umfo, umfo, and that's it. Brothers, plural is abafowetu, abafowetu, abafowetu. That's brothers. Do you see this one is a classic, class one noun. The singular is um, the prefix, and the plural is aba, the prefix. Let's move on to sister. Sister is uda de way to. Uda de way to. Uda de way to. But also, sister in Mrs. Zulu is also da de, da de, so uda de. The plural is oda de way to. Oda de way to. Oda de way to. I'm sure you are getting this now. That's a class 1A now. Now, an uncle. This is your father's brother who is older than your father. So, ubaba. Omkulu. Do you hear that? Ubaba. Omkulu. We put in an adjective there to describe which father we are talking about because all your father's brothers are your fathers as well. So now we must describe him and say omkulu, so the older one. Ubabomkulu is how it is said. Did you hear? We drop the last A of ubaba and then we merge the two. Ubabomkulu, uncle. And plural. Oba bom cool. Oba bom cool. Oba bom cool. So oba ba and then om cool. So uncles, your father's older brothers. Now your father's younger brothers. Still uncle in English, but we want to know which father because remember they are your fathers in Isizu. So, omani, omani, the younger one. Uba bomani, uba bomani, uba bomani. That's your father's younger brother. Now, more than one, so plural, oba bomani, oba bomani. Now let's look at your father's sister, whether she is older than your father, the same age as your father, or younger than your father. It's all the same. So really it's saying, that sound funny if you don't know the culture of a Mazulu, but this is really saying your female father because she is your father's sister. So, uba begazi. Now, the plural for this is oba begazi. Oba begazi. Oba begazi. So, your aunts. Let's look now at your mother's side of the family. What about your mother's older sister or elder sister? Remember what we said about your father's brother, that they are your mothers? Remember what you said about your father's brothers, that they are your fathers? Same here. Your mother's sisters are your mothers, all of them, older, younger. They are your mothers. So, we then describe, which one are we talking about? Are we talking about the older one or the younger one? So, if it's the one who is older than your mother, we are saying, umama omkulu, umama omkulu. Now, drop that last A of mama, and then we say, umama omkulu, umama omkulu, umama omkulu. Now, what is the plural? So, more than one mother who is older than your, your biological mother. That is, 
O mamo mkulu. O mamo mkulu. O mamo mkulu. The one who is younger, I'm sure you're putting this together now. We said younger is omane, the younger one. Omane. So one aunt who is younger than your mother is umamomane. 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 And plural, omamomane. 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 Usually people will say nane when they are talking about their mother, their mothers or their aunts who are younger than their mothers. They will say nane. It's a term of endearment. Now your mother's brother, it doesn't matter whether he is older than your mother or younger than your mother. It's umalume, umalume. Umalume and plural, so your uncles on your mother's side, omalume, omalume, omalume. This one is used very loosely by people. If you watch television, South African TV, it's used very loosely. You'll hear people talk about malume, but they are referring to someone who is on your father's side of the family. It's very incorrect, but it's television. You know how it is. Now, a child or a baby, there are two words for a child or baby. Let's start with the one that is a plus one noun, and that is umtwana, umtwana, umtwana. The plural of it is abantwana, Abantwana, abantwana. So those are babies or children. Now there is another one, and this one is purely a class five noun. Hear it. Ingane, ingane, ingane. That's a baby, a child. Ingane. The plural is zingane, is zingane. Isingane, children. A girl. Intombazane, intombazane, intombazane. That's class five. I'm telling you this so that you note the plural. Intombazane is also spelled with an A at the end. So intombazana, intombazana, intombazana. The plural, listen to it. Amantombazane. 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 So we also, of course, then say Amantombazana. Amantombazana. So did you note the plural of intombazane, which is a class five noun, is found in class three? So it's one of those that break the rules. Now, let's continue. Umfana, umfana, umfana. That's a boy. Abafana, abafana, abafana. Those are boys. Umshana, umshana, umshana. That's a niece or nephew. Abashana, Abashana, Abashana. Those are nieces or nephews, plural. The last one we'll look at is a cousin. Umzala, Umzala, Umzala. The plural, Abazala, Abazala, Abazala. Now we'll end this video here so that this is not too long. And then we'll come back with the possessives for all of these nouns we've spoken about.